I'm just waiting on the notification. We're gonna hype it up because then make sure I put it on YouTube and stuff so we can uh, share. Man, I like this. All right, here we go. And we are live. Wow. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast. We have the creative photographer and artist, uh, Brother Kazim, with us. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule, sir, to come give us some information as well as some inspiration. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Okay, we excited to get straight into it. Um, Brother Kazim, many of us know you um, from, you know, you growing up in the nation, but we've seen you from drill to being serious for those, you know, from the outside looking in but you have a creative side. How did you get into uh, your photography? Um, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna, I, I, first of all, I just, wanna, I just wanna thank you for having me on here. I don't, I, first, I'm a very big fan of this platform. I think this is great oh, for you. It's a good look for you. It, um, and it actually is um, beautiful because you're showcasing a lot of people who will never, ever, who no nobody cares to listen. Like, just to be real, nobody really cares sometimes to listen to certain people. Just because we want our own personality thing. And yo, he don't got 20 guys around him, so I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But we, it'd be some real gems and stars around us. And I like, and I when I get on the Facebook and I see, I'm like, oh man, who's that? And I look and I'm like, oh, this guy's kind of ill, bro. Like, like they got an ill story because I know some about the story. Now he's talking to them. So I just wanted to say that to you. Um, when it comes to uh, 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 create, like, I don't want to give a cheesy answer, like, oh, my mom and my dad, but literally, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the cheesy, like, Hollywood answer, like, my mom and my dad told me, like, yeah, when I was yeah. bored, they put a camera on my neck in the hospital. Like, it's a lie, bro. But, nah, literally, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. And, like, it's testimony. I got proof for it, bro. Like, my mom and my dad, my mom uh, was born in Jamaica. So, she's West Indian. She came to America. And then my dad was born in Nigeria, and he came to America. So, my dad and my mom met at college. My dad wasn't even supposed to be in the school type of joint. Like, it was a whole thing. So, my mom comes from a big group, you know, I'm mean, a big family, all girls, second youngest. So the competition of the women and the fly and, you know, the West Indian went back then with the big goals and all that. And my mom was heavy on taking pictures. Okay. My dad coming from Africa, being so poor, when he got here, he slept on a cab for a year and a half. No, he slept on a train and he drove a cab for like six months. And that's how he got from that two years, he got his first place. You know what I'm saying? So my dad, once he got some money, if you know our, our African brothers, when they get some money, oh, they look good, brother. They look good, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my pops, he just had this thing, man, and he, um, you know, he just very, 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 <laughs> listen, my dad had a thing, man. So just that, I guess that combination. So as I get older now, right, my dad gets, you know, whole story, my dad gets deported when I was like 10. And... Um, my mom, she always had these photo albums. It's tucked away in different places. So I, I just gathered them all because I always like taking pictures. I didn't know why. So I grabbed them all one day and I started looking at everything. And even on my Instagram, I, I, I like I post a picture of my dad and I post a picture of myself. Now I've never seen a picture of my dad, but it's, I just took this picture last week and it, it's the same pose, the same, same shirt style, the same. The same everything, two split images, two different people. So I feel like the style, the art, the creativity that all came from my parents' upbringing never really like put it on me, but just it was just in the whole fiber of the whole thing. Like it was just, you know, I was I was born like that. I was born like this. It's so loud. Okay, so uh, my sister Miriam says something like um, sister Jadea says a. Hey. Make sure I make sure I say this is Jadea from Brooklyn because she always gets on me about that. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, brother uh, Kazim, what is your most profound memory of growing up in the nation? Oh, man, yo. <laughs> so many. I Like, junior fruit class. Like, yo, that, like, 
that class right there, as a young man, it teaches you it, it, if you if if the structure is right, right? That's the main thing too. You gotta have a good structure, right? Um, so if the structure is right though, it's one of the it's one of the greatest things because you learn so much about each other and people if you're paying attention at such a young age, facts. Like you think about it. In what situation do you put 12 year olds over other 12 year olds and step back yeah. and go? And be like, yo, here's the book. And you sit back and watch it. That is not happening nowhere in the world. No, I mean, not in no schools, none of that, other than like a basketball team. And it's not for no real purpose. You know what I'm saying? So um, that, 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 you know, that was so big to me because, see, I, I wasn't born in, I wasn't necessarily born in the nation. My father's, my father's a Muslim. My father's a Sunni Muslim. Mm -hmm. He's having some fair contacts here and there, but he wasn't really into it being, I guess, the African side of them, they're not African, sorry to say that, you know, how we, we have the proper knowledge of self, so. <laughs> My, his Nigerian side would not allow him to really fall under the ministers, he just couldn't do it. I just didn't, I don't know why, he just, some in him, he just had this thing. I, that's his, may Allah, you know, help him with that. Um, so he, when, while, while, while that's going on, I, I'm playing basketball, but I'm dealing with gang members because I'm living in the Bronx too, and I'm living on Long Island. So like, all my friends, brothers, and cousins was blood. My cousin was blood. They all was blood. So everybody was the it just like that. Like if like that was what it was, and like the kids that went when, when we went to elementary school, it was my elementary school in the Bronx was like two elementary schools together from two different sides of the Bronx, and they came together and met at the school. So the kids that got on the bus that went this way, those are the crib kids. We knew that from fourth, fifth grade, third grade. Mm, mm, mm. And we was the blood kids, cause we lived over here by Eden World Projects. Mm, mm. And we, we knew that from from young. My pops, you know, he he goes to his thing, and 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 then I guess all of a sudden, like, I guess all of a sudden it just starts. I, I go to brother Caleb from Atlanta brought me to the nation. Him and his family. I was, yeah. they brought me to the nation. His brother. Uh, give me books, tell me about the minister. Yo, read this message of the black man. I'm like, you know, I'm, you know, as you can see, my boy uh, Barry made this shirt. But I'm like, yo, what? Malcolm X. And they're like, yo, that, yeah, he cool, man. But listen, I got, I got something better than that. I'm like, yeah, ain't nothing better than Malcolm. They never squashed me though, bro. I'm 12 years old. They never squashed me. They just said, all right, bro, I got something better though. Gave me the, gave me something on the minister, gave me something on the messenger. And the next year he called me like, yo, yo, yo. You know that gang stuff? You, it, well, we was at, I was at his house for a basketball tournament. I'm talking about the gang stuff. And he asked me mm -hmm. questions. I'm telling them all this. And what they respected about me was I was the smallest guy on the team. But I made my whole basketball team sleep on the floor. And I had the whole couch. Mm -hmm. Little guy. I'm the team captain. Smallest guy on the team. I made all 12. I'm talking about these are dudes bigger than me. Tough. Uh, what they call them. Uh, at risk youth. Yeah, <laughs> on the floor right now. Everybody get on the floor. Everybody sleep on the floor. Nobody sleep on the couch. That's it. Mm. I, I don't sleep with guys on the mm. couch. On. And they saw that, and they was just like, "Yo, something about him." Remember the whole. Now this all ties back into what I'm saying. Older men putting young people in fudge and watching it, right? So he gives me the teachers. I start coming to the month. He already knew. I grasp it. Like I get it. Boom. Oh, I get it. This is it right here. Oh. Boom. So I just jump into it. Now I'm in junior four class. That go back to what I say about junior four class. Now I'm in a class with other young people. Some been here before. Some haven't. Some know what they talk about. Some don't. Some care. Some don't. And I'm just like accelerating. I'm just catching, catching. So now you know, but Tyreek is the. But Tyreek was basically he was the first officer the whole time, and we we never had a he never really was the captain. He was the first officer because Brother Elijah felt giving a young person the title captain. It's not, it's not good. You know what I'm saying? It's just too much for that age. So he gave him first officer and I was the second officer. So basically he's the captain. I was the first officer, period. That's how yeah. we So now, <laughs> mind you, bro, I'm only six months in the mind, six, eight months in the mind. So now yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm shaking now. I'm, I'm going out with the older brothers, selling papers. I'm, I read every book three times. I'm not even bringing a book bag to school no more. At this point, it's no book bag, it's final call. Like I'm in school telling my teachers, Listen, the white man has lied to us in the middle of class. I'm doing this <laughs> just gun ho, but it 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 allowed me to learn something about myself. 
you know what I'm saying? That I have an ability to be a leader, but I realized from a very young age, I don't want to lead nobody because I don't want the responsibility or I'm shying away from it. So I tend to get, I used to, I tend to get stressed out under pressure because I don't want to really be the guy you're like, hey, what are we doing? Like, whoa. I don't really, <laughs> like, I don't want to be that guy. But the older I get, the more Allah puts me in positions where it's like, you know what it is, right? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, I can't get out the mold of the box. So now studying, I got to learn how to lead better. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm at the, my 30 mark, like, learning how to lead better and not having to be like, yo, I, you know, you asked me to lead you, so this, and now you're not listening to me, so what, what you want? Like, as I get on that, that's not going, we're not going to win. So we got to learn, like, I'm learning now how to mold my leadership skills. And we also got to also remember, we moving fast with technology. So we on Zoom right now, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're about to be the new normal. So if you're not getting, if you're not, it's a double, it's a double fight. If you're not working on yourself and learning what's going on out here in this world, you're going to get lost in the source somewhere. It's an ever, ever battle. So um, that's my fondest memory, man, of GFY classes, man. It's rough, bro. Praise me so loud. Shout out to uh, Brother Caleb, uh, Caleb for uh, looking out for you and making sure you come in. Right. Now, I've seen pictures of you all from children. Most people who I interview on off the record, they're adults, and I asked them their first time meeting the minister, and it's like, I was 35, I was 40. But I, I mean, you all fed a heem. Come on now. So y'all drilling, and I've seen pictures of you, Bishmi, Elijah, all of you all, Kyrie. Um, at young ages around the man of God, what was it like to be so young around the most ominous of Spark Um I don't even believe it sometimes. Bro. Like, for real, like, beloved, you're not understanding. So, I have like a. I grew up in a nation, but I'm the only one in my family in the mosque. Well, my, I have my little brother, Jamil. He, he, uh, you know, he, he grew up with us too, so we consider him close family. Um, me, me and the guys actually, but so I'm the only one in my house in the nation. I've been in the nation since I was 13, 30. I'm the only in my fam. I'm talking about West Indian Jamaicans, jerk pork on Friday, two piece of rice. Still like, yo, nah, cause he don't want that one. Give him the jerk chicken, cause he don't eat pork. Still going on to this day right now, right? Type of joint. Like, can't eat at my family house. And then my Nigerian family, I got one, I got a brother who lives in Nigeria. We don't got the same mother, named Raheem. And when I mean his brother loves the minister, like, amazingly. Bro, when I mean meeting the minister, like, bro, like, I can't even explain it because the energy. We put in so much energy to get into that moment just to get there. Like from, I'll give you one example. It's a picture of me, Kyrie, and Tyreek, and we're in St. Louis with the minister. We was with Big Cab. We was like 17, beloved. School what? What school? We had like 17, 19. This is when they would be dedicating to Mars. I had like 17, 19. Maybe I may be older than that. Like, yeah, like 19, 20. And I had to rededicate to Mars St. Louis. So we like, School what? Like, we out. Like, yo, cab, we out. You feel me? Like, and brother, what I mean, if you, if the FOI know what I'm talking about. But for my people who are not in the you know, FOI that, you know, listen to this, listen, beloved. We don't get paid for security, okay? <laughs> we do not get paid. We don't get, the minister doesn't have a payment plan, but it's no payment. So when you see me leave from New York and I'm in Cali, St. Louis, I paid out of my pocket some way, somehow, by a law submission, and I'm here. So we was 19, Cash I'm going to, yo, I'm going to um, St. Louis with the minister. We going to St. Louis with the minister. So we get in the car. One thing my cat, we going to call you, you, you driving. You driving. Like, you, you ain't got no money, but you going to drive. I never had no money. So I was good for a whole St. Louis drive. <laughs> I never had money with Big Cab, but I always was driving. I told Cab, I drive from New York to Atlanta. Let's go. We got to see the business up there. So we put in mm. work, man. Work, time, effort, trying to, you know, you know, young brother, you know, trying to 
trying to get on the post in the right spot. We stay right here, right now. Don't stand next to me, bro. Go over there, bro. <laughs> I mean, trying to get one of those. So I guess the brothers felt our energy like, yeah, them brothers came from New York too, man. They're always like the only young brothers out there too. Well, I'm not gonna say that, but it was a couple of young brothers, but being from New York, we was like some of the only young brothers. Just, we stood out. So. <laughs> Yo, the minister was leaving his hotel room, right? He's mm -hmm. leaving his hotel room. So we get the call, we hear the radio. So we're like, yo, let's go see the station we got. Right. So now we try to be goofy and run upstairs and make it mad noise. Not you, but we, like, think about it. It's a, it's a hotel. Nobody's in the hallway. If you can't hear them, we stop. Yeah. So, so the brother's like, yo, what you running for? We like, just trying to get a post. He's like, yo, bro, just relax. Stay right here. Froze us. Oh, we sick. We like, nah, we'll see the medicine that we tight. Oh, man, we don't know, post nothing. And all we hear is like, Supreme Brother, uh, Supreme Captain. He said, hey, 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 hold pop up. I got to go, go get some." So he spun around, froze the minister. Boom, that bit. So now we, what? Supreme go back? We go back Supreme. So we go back with Supreme, right? Well, so then uh, Professor Chris seen us. He was like, guys, come here. You know, he mad smoke. Come here. He stood us right here, boom. Yo, we turn, and you know, come around, over, come around, over. It's the, it's him, bro. It's him, bro. No, my energy, all that I put into that, didn't match that. Froze me, bro. This a man. Million Man March. World Friendship Tour. Uh, stop the killing. Uh, college tour. Black college tour. Like, I don't know a passive doing a black college. I don't know. Listen, we can do the rallies and the marches. Who's doing a black college tour? Out of your own yeah, pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only from the college kids. That was another thing I seen. I was like, yo, he didn't take no plan. Like, you could have, damn, my mister, like, offset the plane at least. Like, nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want nothing from him. I want the knowledge. I want the air. The moment seeing him, just everything is just like, you can't match it. And you're just looking at him and you just don't know what to say. And then he just, he, he said to us, you, you brothers came from New York for me? And we're like, yes, sir. He said, how old are you? He said, 19. He said, oh my God. Gets up, greets us, says he told the brothers he has to take a picture with us. Takes the picture, turns around and says to Supreme, oh yeah, by the way, are they on post? I don't want any of them on post. I actually want them in front next to me. So when they get mm -hmm. to the front, to the front next to me. Mm -hmm. Bro, I cried, bro. We cried, like, bro, we drove and cried to the mines. Yes, I mm -hmm. cried, brothers. We, we, we cried. I cried. <laughs> yes, because that man saved my life. Because I, when I look at my homies, I got homies that die, bro. Like, for real, real gang, you know, Real like you from Atlanta. If you from Atlanta, New York, or Chicago, you know what it is, man. Like I, I got friends that really die. If you black and a black, if you live in America, you know what I'm talking about. I got friends that really die for some gang violence. It's like for real, for real. Like brother Caleb, and I don't you know. I hope I'm not putting his business out there. Brother Caleb moved after a shooting of one of my friends in front of his house mm, mm. from New York. That's where it's born. And I was just standing there with them. 20 minutes before the joint had to. I'm in the nation too. Just out there, because I got that love for the streets. That's another reason why I'm so good with the people, why I get so many guests, why I've always been known as a person to get guests. I'm just, I love the streets so much. I don't look at them as, you know, they smoking weed. I'm going in the weed spot and I'm talking about the minister with them. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yo, Dr. Wesley talking about that weed, bro. Said that shit, man. <laughs> Bro, what? Yo, you really think we make you gay? But it ain't about the we make you. It's the conversation is open up, man. Let's talk, bro. Now I dropped it. All I, my job is to drop the seed. My job ain't to convert this man. So as long as I'm in every circle dropping seeds, I'm doing the work. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's how I look at this whole thing. Me and the minister, I learned the same thing, man. And, and that's what I learned from that World Friendship Tour. And that's what I learned from the college tour. Yo, man, I don't want y'all to pay for nothing. Just give me the moment, drop the seed, man. That's it.
So I can't, I, I, I know that was kind of long. I can't even explain what that was, bro. Like I can't. And then it happened so many times after that, that I, I take none of them for granted. I got all the pictures framed. Everybody sees me and brings them, bring it up. And I just look at them and I'm like, bro, I'm not worthy at the moment, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot gave me something that he knew like, yo, I, you belong here, but you know what I'm saying? Like you belong you're saying, you're saying. Like when I look at brother, man, what, yo, beloved, What's brother Jesse's new name? Abdul Kiam. For that, when I look at brother Abdul Kiam, you know what I'm saying? When I look at like my bros on the, on the team, I roll with, you know, immense on the E team, that's the young brothers. When I look at Mike and Mir, when I look at Fahim, when I look at, when I look at you, when I look at certain brothers, Hassan, that work with the minister, D Row, that work with, right? I'm like, it's a blessing because I'm like, I right, Allah showing me something. The minister always said he wanted youth around him. We around him. Boom. All right, bro, just go do the work now. The work is where it's at. You feel me? That's all he did was the work. And then it's the great people come around. Everything just, your world start working. Not saying it's not going to get rocked. Because, like, like, I, like, you know, I lost my mom, bro. So I'm kind of, like, a little bit, as much as I, like, you know, happy. I had these moments where I'm, like, up and down, bro. But I learned, like, you know, just, like, I try to take the minister as, the ultimate example in God, the man, <laughs> we already know, you know, the man's medical conditions, man. And he gets up there. I, I seen the minister speaking. I'm looking like, yo, did anybody just see what I just saw? Like, and like, he just keep rocking. Nobody seen it. Nobody just, and I'm like, yo, the minister's dying on stage, bro. And we don't even see it, bro. Right in front of us every day. Every day he speak, he dies right in front of us. So we just like, oh, yo, that's, that's what's up, man. Yo, Farrakhan was ill. Yo, I'm about to really check it out. About the, 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 you know what I mean? The hoop houses. I might do it. I might not. That's how we treat him. You know what I mean? It's a good job. So it might be high. It might be not. That's how we look at it. July 4th. Oh, word. He dropping an album. Oh, word. Let me hear. I wasn't really feeling the middle part of the album. That's how we treating the minister now, bro. Like it's an album, bro. Absolutely. You know, so okay, praise be to a lot. And I got so many comments. Um, thank you all for uh tapping in and watching, it means a lot. If you all continue to watch the people's podcast, speaking of albums, brother Kazim, um, as an artist and, and a creative, I'm a huge fan of music. Um, uh, what would be, if, you, if, you could choose, if you could choose one album to represent you, you know, what I'm saying, what would your favorite album be, and what album would you choose? Uh, late registration, Kanye West. I couldn't hear you. Which one? You said you said this one right here. Late registration, right there. Yeah, late registration, right there. Yeah, I, yeah. I tell you why, because it's so many. It's like it's so many. It's so much going on, but it blends together when you listen to the whole thing. You get what I'm saying? Like. You got Ye rapping, he getting soulful, he get, you know what I'm saying? It could be melodies, he get it. And it's and it's 23 tracks. It's like, yo, it's very long-winded, bro. And in album since today's time, right? It's a long album. But yeah. when you listen to it all together, it's like a perfect, it's perfect, bro. It's a perfect like. And I think sometimes I could be, I think sometimes myself, I could be long-winded. I think sometimes on myself, I can say things it's not like a circle and it's like yo where is he going with it and how's he going and then like if you just listen to it long enough it's like boop i got it just like kanye west if you try to jump into kanye west's interviews at the 23 mark you're not gonna get it turn it off don't even listen to it start it back at zero and then listen to the interview and it'll all make sense but if you listen in the middle you out of here it's like it's, you out of here he it just he's not like that the train has already started beloved Gotta catch yeah. you know what I'm saying? And the same thing with me. Like some people gonna look at me and they, you know, they say, man, you know, bro, bro, uh, bro a little bit wild, bro. Man, I grew up, I, I <laughs> listen, I grew up on an island, man. And I grew up on an island, long I grew up in Long Island, literally in an island, right? I don't live near believers. I do, but I don't. The youngest believer that lived near me was Elijah, and he literally lived what we call towns away in, in mm -hmm. terms. like he lives mm -hmm. far bro you're like how you getting there so 
you know, yo, man, I'm going to leave that alone. I ain't even going to touch that. I'm going to leave that one alone because I, I see where I'm going with that. Go ahead. Okay, but later, excellent. That's, that's yes, it. Bro. Okay. Like, like, I I crazy so like, if I could take an artist that represents me, I would say yay. But if if you was like, yo, what kind of artist? Like, yo, I kind of like, yo, it's going to sound funny. Yo, I kind of like Diddy, bro. If I can, like, say somebody was me. <laughs> oh, bro, this ball, God. It'd be Diddy, bro. For real. Diddy's is the man. I, Diddy, I mean, a lot of people, Diddy inspired a lot of people, and a lot of people who wouldn't want to, you know, be a boss like Diddy. Are you the boss? Are you the boss? Yeah, I did his, listen, man. His talent, his talent game is, is crazy because it's like, that's yo, what, like, bro, who put, you know how low I thought Diddy rapped? I just found out, like, <laughs> Yo, I was listening to an interview the other day and I was like, wait, did he try to fight Drake because Drake wrote the song for him? So he didn't write the song? Mm-hmm. He's like, nah, did he don't write his raps? I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. So when he said, I don't write raps, I write checks that was for real, for real? That wasn't like <laughs> a song? Oh, no, I was sick, bro. I was disappointed, bro. I was like, no. Well, it's my man. I love Diddy, though. If, I, if that's the artist I could, you know, I mean, if I could do, but I think more and more people understand the Kanye reference um, because um, if they know me, and they just understand how I, how I think. Even the, even my room, even my just everything. If you understand me, you understand. Like, it's kind of, ooh, but bring it together. The guy, the guy makes them. The guy's a genius. I think. I think I'm. I think I'm a genius. I, I do as well. And speaking of you being a genius, what advice would you give to younger brothers coming up who may think they have to only uh, to fit a certain mold in order to be a believer? How do you tell them how to be a believer and be an FOI, but be creative while they do it? Honestly speaking, for young Canadians in the nation out there, it's two. It's like a two-sided thing. You, it's like, all right, so as long as you being the, as long as you're being yourself, right? Being a Muslim, you don't have to tell people you're a Muslim. You get what I'm saying? So you don't have to like, if, and if that's your thing, that's your thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. Um, you just got to be true to yourself. So you got to understand that. All right, cool, like. All right, I'll give this the best example, right? When I cut them out, we're working with guests. When it come working with guests, like, or just talking with people. Everybody has flaws, even the Muslims. So once you start there, you're good. But if you try to come in like the Muslims don't got no flaws, you already gonna lose. You already gonna lose. <laughs> you already gonna lose. You already gonna lose. When you come in like the Muslims are perfect and we're the greatest and we're like, that's better than us. And like, yo, we don't make no mistakes and we're great. You're going to lose, bro, because the moment they see any chink in the armor, they're gone mentally. And you can't get, it's hard to get people back mentally. Then the physical, you get what I'm saying? So you got to be true to yourself. So you got to just like, yo, certain circles, certain things, you may not, may not, may not be for you. Listen, you, 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 it's like saying, yeah, I want to be a, I want to be a rapper. But I'm not going to the club. I'm taking this. Yo, I'm doing a conscious route. I'm not going to the, we ain't doing no club. Nothing. How you going to hear your music? Who going to hear you? You got to go to the club. Nobody said you had to drink, though. Nobody said you had to stay at four in the morning. But nobody said you, but you get what I'm saying to you? So I remember, that's why Lupe was one of my favorite artists growing up as a kid. Lupe would not perform when he first came out at any concerts um, sponsored by liquor companies. I thought that was the most craziest Muslim. I was like, yo, he's the man for this. But then again, I was like, damn, my man is really on some martyr taking the L for everything he stands for right now type of joint because he's really he's really taking the L. And he took it and it was big because I feel like he now ushers in, he do he him doing that puts pressure on the label. It's like I said earlier, right? Taking pictures. Now I was telling you earlier about this. I remember taking pictures, they would take my camera and put it in the check room. When you're done, you can get that later. We don't do cameras in the mosque. That's what they said. I don't, I don't, I don't. So, but now it's almost celebrated if you got a camera. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? One of the best photographers in the nation, D. Rowe, hands down, hands down one of the best, you know what I mean? Young brother, on with his camera. Pulled up, started popping the shots. Boom, it, oh, you got him, come through. You got it. A Couple of years ago, that ain't cool. That's who, that's who. You know what I'm saying? A couple of years ago, can't text in the mosque. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It was a system at one point you put your, your you put your uh, phones in the bag. Remember that? Yes, Come sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Well, you even gotta move with the time. Okay? So you gotta be true to yourself. The settings, settings are big. Individuals are big. What you do in the first, what I call the brickwork of it, is big. You know what I'm saying? If you if you want to be a brother or a sister, you want to sing and do music, and you want to just be, you want to be also, you basically want to be an industry whore. You just want to get whored out by the industry and just get in that life and that fast lane and that thing. And you start off like that's pretty much where everybody's gonna treat you at. You can't get on now and then bring the brothers and sisters around and try to get Islamic. It's like, bro, what? I don't know you like that, bro. So now you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Now I do not believe in this whole nation of Islam curse. Once you tell people your nation, you're not gonna go successful. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that, but I do feel like it could become a point where it's like, you, like when you get a, when you get a job at when you, okay when you when you get a job you started you get a job or start a career at Walmart, Geico, a teacher. Do you walk in a building and tell people you're in a nation of Islam? I don't know. I just I've never done that before. I've never got a job at the pizzeria and walked in and say, "Yo, my name's Kazim. I'm in a nation of Islam. I'm here." I never did that. I never. Yo, I'm Muslim. I'm in the building. We on deck. That don't make no sense. Okay. Like, sometimes you don't always gotta, but when the situation, you do gotta stand tall when you gotta stand tall on principle, but is the principle you stand tall on because you stand tall on principle or you stand tall on it just because you're part of the nation? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, you not smoke because you're in the nation or do you not smoke because you know the principle of it is not right? That's where we at now. That's where we at. That's where 30 we at. years old, bro. I'm in a different space. That's where we at, bro. Go ahead, Kazim. Drop a jewels. Excellent. Brother Kazim, I want to just read some of the comments. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, uh, what's going on? Atta says, definitely got to stand tall. Sister Tracy says, we're taught to accept our own and be ourselves. We already got the blueprint. Most of us are just too casual about mining who and who we are. Absolutely. Sister uh, Jadea says, she knew you were going to say Kanye. She thought she was gonna say Dark Twisted Fantasy. Mimi says, my sister Mimi says classic album. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody showing love. Uh, sister Annette Davis said she wish she could have. Uh, uh, Jalila from LA says, some am Lakin family. Um, uh, LA. Uh, we're gonna talk about, we, we gotta get to LA, man. It's a special place to me. We're we'll getting to that though. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. My next question for you is you're married. And that was shocking to many people, not because it's you get married. But it's just like this is the trend of the nation to, to the outside world looking in. Everybody gets is a Muslim, you get married. But to people who grew up in the nation, it wasn't like everybody got married. But it seemed like within the last few years, almost everybody's married. What was it, Brother Kazim, that got you to, to get married? Let me tell you this. Brother Kazim has never, and I have never, ever fallen fall in the mold of marriage. I am like, if you ask anybody about me and my marriage ideas, they are so like, what? I can't believe this guy is that boy, he's bugging right now. But <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm serious, bro. Like for real, for real, like, like I told my wife this. I'm already looking for a wife. I need a mm -hmm. strong partner, go to, right? Like, like I need a friend. A real friend, like the whole, we can get in love. Need a friend, bro. Okay. And I told her that from the gate, like, but mind you, I've known her. Allah bless me. I we knew each other for ten, maybe twelve years, but we never lived near each other. So it was always like a long distance friendship. So I got to really know her over twelve years, just as a friend, as a person. Just when she moves to New York now, we start hanging out and, and it just like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, all right, it's good work. Like, you know what I mean? Because I wasn't, I wasn't dating no one. I was getting old. I felt old. Not old, but I just felt I was getting older. All my brothers are married. All the brothers I grew up with are married. All of them got married. Like, yes, sir. We even made a pack, me and a couple of brothers. We get married by 2012, bro. 2012, we'll get. We get married because the world gonna end. I'm the only one that did not get married. That totally told okay. that. You know what I'm okay, saying? Well, okay. I got married late. You know what I'm saying? But I never did it. Because I felt like to do it just to do it is the most hurtful thing to the nation. 
because I grew up. So like in my family is a lot of women, right? My mom grew up with six sisters. My family is 93% women. Literally, like my brothers, me and my three brothers is like the like that's big. Like my mom having three boys and one girl's big. Like, oh my God. Like there's all girls in my family. So I grew up on women. I understand women, I understand certain things and or at least I, I at least I, I can say I try to understand something. I'm a little bit more compassionate than most guys to certain things. So with with um with that, it was like um I know that girls fall in love hard, and I know that me, I don't I don't fall in love like that. Like it's like I don't like I don't I'm done, that's not the same for me. I don't fall in love like like. I'm not about to like drive from New York to like Milwaukee to rub your feet. I'm not doing that. Like I just don't. I don't even. Like I don't. <laughs> like I, I'm not literally like. But then I'm not gonna like my wife would tell you like she'll be like yo she'll say right now he's a liar he's just really he's really he's really romantic he's really good. I am but I'm just not like you know with the whole like get on the internet and like oh we got the same hoodie on like baby like, I'm just I've never been like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going through that and was falling off. I just wasn't with that. So I just really, like, me and the person had to be friends. Like, we really had to be really friends. And, like, I think that's what helped me make the decision with, with her. Now, mind you, everybody's getting married. There's a whole trend. But, I like, once again, I never even discussed my married decisions with more than five people. Just my whole relationship life with more than five people because I just never wanted to get influenced. I told one of the, I told, I told a brother this, the most hurtful thing that the brothers can say to the young brothers and the sisters can say, the, young, the older brothers and sisters can say to the young believers are, just get married. That is so wrong and dumb. Oh, that's so dumb. It is the dumbest concept in the world. It has no base. <laughs> just get married, it's gonna work out. It doesn't work like that. Okay. And, okay. Is, and most people that say that are on their second wife, third husband. It doesn't work like that, beloved. You gotta know the person, bro. You have to. Like, let's be okay, real. Okay. You got to. Not, not now. Mind you, there are, and there are. There's gonna be these people in the comments. I already see it. There are that small, seven to ten percent, twelve percent. If you want to live and bank on, and say, "Yo, I'm living my life based off twelve percent." They live off that. But I'm going to tell you right now, most older people I know that's rocking and rolling, they got problems, they had problems. But they was they friends, though. They really friends, though. They not, She not bad. Oh, it's my baddie. Yo, my wife was nice. You should have seen her. She had that garment on with the stilettos, the Louis shoes. Oh, bro. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. You should have seen them. And with the problems looking easy. Like, that's corny. That's not going to last. It doesn't last. And that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I never really... With my wife, I wasn't like, yo, let me go in the nation. Yo, 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 Josh, yo, 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 sister, what you call it? I wasn't doing that. I just moved around the mosque, but I never even really, like, certain, like, you know, certain sisters, you know, hey, hi, you know, hi, you know, we said hi, and then, you know, that was it, you know what I mean? And I never really went searching. I never really went, was on that type of thing because I just felt like, I'm going to leave it at this. Sister Ayana from Chicago said this to me, and I was 17 years old. She said, Kazine, the sister you marry, this is one of my best friends too. She said, the sister you marry is going is a special person and I can't wait to meet her. Cause she's definitely not just walking around here just right now. Like she's not just here. She has, Allah's gonna make her for you, period. Cause yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. a special individual. And um, I, I feel like that my wife, you know what I'm saying? Like she, she, she came, she, she came in the mosque. She, uh, she, 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 she came into the teacher on her own. I wasn't me forcing her. You know, it wasn't me like, yo, you gotta you do this or you can't be together, girl. Like, wasn't, you know, I, I personally don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? So, because uh, it's all inside. The belief is inside. It's all inside. The physical thing is cool. I don't got a suit on. I got a Malcolm X shirt on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The hoodie. It's kind of, it's cropped. Yes, it's cropped. I wear cropped. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm a fashion kid, man. I'm, I'm in an art studio. I'm in an art studio that I built in you know, my basement. Scanning my, my, my photography for the, you know, I'm just, and she's upstairs, you know, just, she's a simple person. She doesn't like, you know what I mean? She's not really, you know, much. She doesn't, she doesn't, she never, she always she told me that from day one. I don't really want much. So 
she's a, she's artistic like I am. Um, she's smart. I don't know, just like I think, I mean, I just, I felt like it was time. I felt like it, you're gonna feel it, bro. Like I'm telling you, you're gonna feel like you know what? Right, I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm I'm gonna do the right thing. I, like it's not about her now, cause now it's like I, I'm gonna do the right thing, bro. Cause like all right, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna do the right thing, and then cause that's the relationship. It's fifty fifty, right? So I can't. I can't make her do her 50 or make her get like, I can't do that. I can only do my 50, 100% 50. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And once that's done, whatever I get back, it's like, all right, boom. All right, cool. So now I got a reason to say, I say, we're good. It is working. Da, da, da. I'm not feeling this, but communication and things like that. So, you know, just, I guess, I guess it was just time. You feel it. You really feel it. I think I felt it. And, uh, yeah, I think I, I yeah, I think I made I, I think I made a good decision. My mom loves her. My mom loved her. So Crazy, so uh, beautiful. Good. Okay. Um Asa says that's right. And thank you again, Brother Kazine, for your transparency and thank you for your sacrifice and the sacrifice of your family as well. Sister Ataya uh down Shabbat says, I feel that on a personal level, we're taught that marriage is half our um dean and don't even completely understand what that means until after the fact. Marrying the wrong person can destroy you on so many levels, and I can bear witness to that. Thank you very much, and thank you all for continuing to watch people's podcasts. Okay, break his name. Now, the way I see you, that's how we see you through photography and so much, but I, I see you through drill, man. You know, Fedahim and so many levels. What is it about drill that, you know, made you fall in love with that? Militancy. Just, man, I, uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing Jamaican, so the, so the rhythm and the step is there, even though I cannot dance, but the rhythm. <laughs> I um hold, hold on. The, the, uh, yeah, yeah, you 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 interrupting the people's podcast. They they gonna be upset right now. All right, so the rhythm and step was there. Now, like I said, when I came in the mosque, like I, said, I came in the mosque young. So I'm going to junior for I'm I'm there every day, bro. Man, I'm there's not a mosque meet. I'm not missing Wednesday. I'm not missing Friday. I'm not missing Saturday. Sisters class, junior for class, and Saturday class. I'm out there just about holding down, and I'm selling papers. I'm selling papers in the morning, Sunday. I'm going to the mosque. I barely want to go to school because I'm trying to sneak in the FY class, cap letting me in sometimes, not letting me in some other time. Hopefully, I didn't get him in trouble and incriminate him right now. <laughs> Were you feeling me? So, you know, it was going through the, those, 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 those motions. So watching the brothers drill, I just had to be the best. I want to be the DI. Now, you know what? The DI, that DI is just too much. I don't really like, you know, I got this thing about myself. I'm the best. I got this saying. I'm the, I'm the number one Scotty Pippen in the world. Mm-hmm. It's my concept on side. I don't really like to be Jordan. I'll be the best guy. Yo, if you give me a guy that loves to score, I'm going to make sure he scores 50. And we're going to mm-hmm. win. Because I like him. Mm-hmm. I don't want that as part of the light. I, be, I do the dirty work. You want the light, bro? Do, do that, bro. You want to be in the limelight? Do that, bro. Um. So, Alton, remember Alton now, he's seen... He was the, he saw how my team was moving, me and Elijah, Tyreek, Mario, Fish, me, you know, man, my squad was deep. So he just, so he just, you know, he just started training us. Yo, yo, y'all gonna draw like how we were drawing. We thought they was like you or that whole class, that whole FJ, JF, whatever y'all, that whole Jade, all y'all, I love <laughs> Whatever y'all was calling yourself with the walkie talkies talking to nobody, like, uh... you know, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> the units talking to each other. Yo, Josh, yeah, you hear me? It's standing right next to you. So, you know, those days and shit. So, you know, with those, I just, we wanted to be like y'all. Man, bro, we used to watch, I don't even know this sister like that, but shout out to, uh, yo, who? Sister Sabrina from Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched that drill tape with sis. Yo, sis, you are. Sis, if you're watching this, if you, hopefully you are, you are the reason why I love drill. She was mm. so fire just to me, just like drilling, like, yo, yo. You know, the sisters that just the head snapping is just immaculate. So I'm like, yo, I have to be like, so I had to be the best. I'm drilling. I'm going to every single, I'm talking about every day I'm drilling, yo. Every day. The team just formed together, and I think it was 2000. So now we, we do drill and drilling outside of outside events and have a junior FY class. Our team start forming. So we start 
getting titles. We start moving together, start wearing the same colors. We start setting up security details, start learning how to drive yeah. with cars. Start. So now we come to Savings Day. We like, yo, we staying together. Yo, we got a hotel room at 2006 Savings Day, our first Savings Day back from not having Savings Day. We we got a hotel room at the the Four Points Sheraton. Mm. It was ten of us in the room, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Julia F O Y for real, sixteen. Ten of us in the room, and we was walking in the lobby that Sunday. All of us had our suits on, and we seen you and the, the Atlanta brothers. And he was like, "Yo, when we getting down?" I'm like, "What's up? Whenever." He was like, "Yo, boom, 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 yo." Here, you gave us some fly. Was it the fuck? Yeah, drill competition is this. Oh, that was it. Now, from there, it was yo, bro. We've been from from the 06 Savings Day when y'all gave us that pamphlet in the in the hallway Sunday. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're on it ever since. We drove down there, bro. Mm, A mm. lot of people don't know this. Big Kev almost died on that trip. Mm. He had a, he had a. I think he was having a stroke, a heart attack, or something. And he wouldn't stop, and he drove all, and he, he went, yo, where's ball, bro? That trip was major, God. It was fights on that trip, bro. That trip pulled, that trip pulled, like, New York, like, our older brother, it pulled us to get, like, that, that was a mold. Yo, that was a molder. That was a molder right there. So, was- so, so, so you, you mean to say that the FOI stand with me, St. Scholar's Killers, Supreme said to me, you mean that? That year, that year y'all came down here and shook everything up. Yes, sir. I'm familiar with that year. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. And y'all came on. Nah, don't front, though. Y'all came on. The, yo, I'm looking for the tape. Because I'm a, What's the no, song? We're no, not, we're not addressing that. We're not addressing that. <laughs> <laughs> you won't find that tape. You won't find that one, though. I don't know where you're going to look for that one at. You won't see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Won't find those six. Won't find that one. Though, man. No, no, yeah. I ain't gonna let it get. To it. Oh no! Am I lying? Is that the song? Is that the song? I got great memory, bro. That's the yeah. song. I'm still looking for that song. Can you tell me that song? You text me that song later. I gotta put it in my playlist. Yeah, put this ball and put it in it. Just you. I remember yeah. that. I thought it was fire. I thought it was fire. First of all. Let me say this too while we on drill. I think you, like me and others in the nation, we come from, we are like, a, it's a Kanye, I call it the Kanye effect. It's the martyr effect, bro. You're so, to be a trendsetter, you gotta be corny. You gotta accept it. <laughs> you gotta be. Because there's going to be things you do that people... Do you know that Virgil Abloh called Bell Bottoms in 2010? He called it. I got the interview to show you. People are going to look at me right now and look at me on this on this podcast and say, yo, Zim is bugging. He lost his mind. Men not wearing Bell Bottoms. Okay. Boot cut and Bell Bottom jeans are coming back. Called it already. So when you see me rocking them and you start getting them and your son want a pair, don't ask me. I told you what it was. Coming back, God, uh, it's going down. Call it, bro. Trends can be called. You know what I'm saying? So you're a trendsetter, bro. Hey, so, uh... Bro, the initiative for you and the sisters and just the Atlanta squad to have the idea to put music, see the step dance culture, music drill, and say, yo, we can get the guests like this, bro. We got to switch it up. That's big. People can't understand it, bro. You know what I'm saying? It comes with a lot of hiccups because you're the first one doing it. Of course, you're going to do things that, look, that you look back and say, yo, that shit. Was <laughs> I, can't believe, I can't believe I did that. It's gonna, bro, it's going to be some things that you're going to say that like, yo, damn, bro. I can't believe we did that. That was why. But at the same time, bro, it's going to be some things that you look back and you be like, yo, I see this, this, that, and that, and this. Oh, man, I see. Okay. I see where... I see why I aided the influence in the culture and shifted the culture in the game a little bit. See, that's that's what we that's what we this next generation is the generation that the Joshua generation, right? I'm a part of that, but I'm a little bit older than my, my brother Joshua from New York, right? I got him for like 10 years, right? So like really, man. We like 
like I said, we set in, we martyrs, we set in trends for things that people can't understand. The older generation can't understand. They talked about Malcolm X when he came in the nation, how the nation at the time when he came in, I may be wrong, my scholars may correct me on, <laughs> on another podcast. That's what I heard. I heard when Malcolm came in the nation, the nation of Islam was an older nation. The believers at that time were older. And Malcolm brought in the youth. So the whole skinny time, all that, he brought that in. Paper, the whole, the pizzazz, the, 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 he brought that. He didn't have that. It have it. It's not saying that. It's it, it have it. So when the minister comes down, right, and he he talking away, he talking, he being because the men back there was tough. The minister brought that. Yo, we don't gotta be so. Y'all gotta be like that. We didn't have it. So it's not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Not to have it. Yes, you know what I'm saying? It's just something you gotta acquire. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn it. You gotta um look seek the knowledge of it. Um. So watching you drill on DVDs and tapes and then showing people who are not in the mosque, they love it. Now I know where the mistakes are. I'm like, yeah, it's a job, fuck that. It's kind of too bad. Just know, man. <laughs> but like, listen, I'm talking about because remember, like I said, it's too it's I live in I live in this weird world of duality. So like yeah. the other reason why I'm good with people. The guy who the guy who sold drugs is not bad. I know why he did it. Mm-mm. But then when I put on my Muslim bag, I understand why he's bad. When I, when I put on my, you know what I'm saying? So, I got, so with knowing, like Master Muhammad, with knowing both sides, I'm kind of a little bit more easier with the punishment. Okay, okay. You don't need to die, just punch him in the face. You get what I'm saying to you? So it's like, I understand. Yeah, you got to have that, that, that type of thing. But I don't want to get off the topic of you because I don't think people tell you that, bro. And I'm, I'm, I'm big on like seeing things need to be said, bro. Like I really, you people don't understand. Like people don't understand what. Like I don't understand that. Like this is the Hall of Fame of drill. And when we say your name, and like when people make their face, I be like, don't make your face up. Yes, innovator, bro. Innovator, bro. Every year we look at like, oh shit, I what? We don't. Yo, what's Josh and doing? Oh, yo, yo, oh, they not posting. Yo, God, we had these conversations. Yo, 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 oh, yo, oh, yo, they, they not, they not posting right now, bro. Oh, the conversation, <laughs> they didn't post all month, bro. Oh, they're drilling, bro. They, 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 they're keeping it low, bro. Yo, yo, nobody posts on the squad. <laughs> we be watching y'all, bro. You feel me? And then we watch y'all. We watch y'all. LA, that's all I want. LA, man, same thing with them. That black on black. We don't understand what we give into the drill thing, man. We all giving pieces, man. And we not seeing it. And we need to actually now turn around, give it to the younger brothers, and now give it to the streets, though, bro. Because Absolutely. it's all it is. All it is is knowledge, bro. It's just, it's just about listening. If a lot of my, I talk a lot of my dudes on the block. If you if you was to drill, go to drill, if you was going to drill camp for, 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 for a summer with us, you would learn how to, you will be the best, Whatever the hell you want to be, street nigga, real nigga, whatever you want to be, in life, whatever you think it is that you want to be, you're gonna be the best at. Cause you're gonna know how to listen, bro. You're gonna know how to say, "I'm not feeling that," but I, if he's saying it, I was good. Oh, oh, damn, it worked. <laughs> you can't see with the DIC. Everybody turn yeah. left except for you. Nah, that don't make no sense. I'm gonna do it again. Everybody turn up except for you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that was big. That's big what you're doing. Um, and I and and I, and I feel like you you gotta bring that back, bro. Now there is we having an open dialogue. There is a there is a line between the military side, but what you're doing has nothing to do with a military parade drill where we trying to show our flag and that's not what you're doing. You're attracting people through art and drill and it needs to be put out in the public platform. You get what I'm saying? It's not It's not a bean pot we make and we sell to believers. This is a bean pot that needs to be mass produced. Okay, we might have to use some different type of eggs. That's the only way it's gonna last and get 17 <laughs> years on the show. But if we can get the best eggs like that, Let's do it and let's get them joints in Costco's and stop selling it at the mosque 15 bean pods to 12 people. Let's stop doing it. Okay, okay. So that's my mindset. You're the man with that, hands down. And I want to point point that out to you. And I wanted to say that on your podcast, on your platform, 
so that people can oh, hear it so on my platform so people can think you paid me. I'm saying that. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Kazim. And I would say that uh, anybody who knows Kyrie would know how much me and Kyrie, all we talked about was music and drill growing in security. That was, that's all we talked about, drill music. So New York, you know, it's a it's a big, I'm from Chicago, so it's more north and south for us as far as the competition. But when New York came, you already knew what it was. And you specifically, you, Elijah, and um, in the front 2012, arms going up the everything, the slow motion to that, like we study y'all too. So we study and everybody study, and there's only four of us. People got, it's only like really four teams. The sisters are so many, but for us, it's only a few cities for the brothers. So we, of course, we all gonna look at each other, be inspired, and you are a big uh, point of that. That's why I knew FOY stand with me, 2000. I mean, my God, as much as we heard that cadence around here. <laughs> my goodness gracious. Uh, but Kazim, what do you want your legacy to be, bro? I want to be known as the, I want to be known as, as the world as as the Muslim. Like I don't want no titles, man. I don't want no big titles, man. Like when I when I'm dealing with artists, you know, I deal with in the music industry. I deal with artists. When I deal with actors. When I deal with basketball players, whatever, and all these all these people. Like you know what I mean? Like, bro, that's just the art, bro. That's the art, bro. When I was in jail, they called me Big Art. Yo, Big Art. It's the Muslim, bro. Just yo, um. Yo, that's my man Z. He was with the minister now, yo. Little bro, smallest type, bro. Call me Earthworm Jim. How, how? I tell people, call me Earthworm Jim. I'm so underground. I only want people, I only want you to see I'm in the room. Like, you know what I mean? But my energy is so big, I just give it like that. But I don't, you know, when people start talking about me and saying too many big things, I get I get shy. Like, nah, man, that ain't me, bro. Like, at all, bro. Because it's just, I, I just want to be, when it comes to the art, man, like, what I'm doing with the film and photography and the fashion is I want to like just shape. I want to sh- I want to change the way the nation of Islam feels about their star pupils going out and showcasing themselves to the world, and then I want to change how the world views nation of Islam Muslims who try to showcase their things to the world. It's a two different thing. See, in, in the nation, we don't want our star pupils to go out because we feel like they're going to get corrupted. But why don't we get next to them? Why don't we stand with them? Why don't we rock with them? Not block them, but rock with them. It's a difference to stand with you and be like, all right, that's what you're doing. All right, that's what we're doing. We're going to do it like this, though. Now, nah, nah, we're not doing that. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we do. Like, uh, you... You my dad and my manager. Which one we doing, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, you know, then it's another side of it where, like, in 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 the world, if you say you're in the nation, you're corny. Oh, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. Anytime a brother's in the nation, it, I listen to his song, and it's like I'm listening for keywords to turn it off. I'm not gonna lie to you. If he says anything about the minister, if he says anything about the bean pie, if he says anything about bow ties, I'm turning it. I'm turning it off, bro. Because it's like, bro, that's your, what are you doing? That's it? You can't be all that you see. It, it. Like I said, man, everybody want to play different games, bro. I want to be in that high echelon of this whole artistic thing, bro. It's le- Kanye said it to Sway. Some people ain't get it, bro. It ain't Ralph, though, bro. It, it ain't, ain't Ralph, Ralph, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be Ralphie, bro. Like, when I, like, inshallah, when I go out, bro, I want legacy, bro. I'm talking about a brand that my family can eat and the nation gets a piece of that's going on for years. Like, it's still going, bro. Like, Yakub had a system, died at 150, and they still carried it out, bro. That's the ultimate branding. That is the ultimate branding scheme ever. The man didn't need to see it end. He like, yo, when I die, y'all make, yo, y'all hear what I'm telling y'all, right? All right. I'm, I'm, tomorrow is not looking good for me. I might not make it tomorrow, but y'all got the plan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You teach it. You know what I mean? That's marketing one-on-one right there, bro. Like, I want to be like that, bro. Like, I want to, this is in a nation, and this is, I know, who grew up in a nation that do music, but they scared to do music because, you know, they looking at, like, a Rihanna. What's my other girl, man? Scissor. And, you know, they get caught up in, oh, do I got to go that far extreme? I mean, it's a conversation you got to have with yourself, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and at the end of the day, right? 
if a brother got yo, I'm I'm waiting for a brother to rap on some gangster shit, but being a mosque. I'm waiting. For it. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting because my, some of my favorite rappers always use gangster Islamic lines. Yo, dude said yo. Um, what my what my man Westside Gun? He said um, he said um. He said, I walk around the Tula, I walk around the Tula, pass the Tula to my shooter, I stash the 25 guns named Juma. Like, that's funny to me. Like, nobody stashing guns at Juma. Like, yeah. but I'm like, oh, that's so ill, bro. Like, but nobody in the mosque, oh, that's, we can't do that. You gotta, you, you gotta just bow, bow tie our whole sister post. Yo, when I was on sister post and the brother, like, you know what I'm saying? When I take pictures, people be like, yo, I had a campaign where I just took pictures of the Muslims because I was like, you're down to no pictures of the Muslims because I was just taking pictures of everything else but the Muslim. So now I was like, you know what? Let me get pictures of the Muslim in the most, the best times when they don't even expect it. Going to the mine, walking to the store, getting some chips, talking downstairs on the point. You know what I'm saying? Those pictures, because those are the pictures that last. Those are the Jamel Shabazz pictures. Those are the, the, uh, the, 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 the Gordon Park pictures. Those are the pictures that like, oh, I remember that. D Rose picture of the minister coming off that stage at Save His Day is going in history book forever. It is. It he is. is. It is. He's, he's stitched in. That's the legacy I want to leave, bro. Not this little mom and pop. He was cool, <laughs> local. I'm not local. I used to live in LA. I used to live in New York. I, I, was, I, I got family in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Assad to God, me and him talk all the time. Like, yo, bro, like, I'm, I'm in so many cities, bro. Like, I'm. Zim is the world, bro. Analog dad, as I call myself, is a concept. The concept is memories. When I shoot pictures, I don't shoot digital. I don't shoot digital because I give you, I tell you why I don't shoot digital. What's the first phone camera phone you had? Did you have a did you have a razor? Mm, yes. You had a Motorola razor? Yes. Everybody, yeah. everybody that's on this, did you have a razor? They're all gonna say yes. You had a razor. You had the Sprint phone with the first Sprint phone with the color. You had a Blackberry. Where's the pictures? See what I'm saying? That's digital. It's so, uh, it's in the clouds, in the air. I don't got a picture. If I shot a picture at you at Save His Day ever, I got it. If I ever shot something of you, I got them. I'm talking about. All type of events. I got everything. Look at the look. This is Xavier's Day. Sister Medina, <laughs> uh, 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 brother Ishmael, Jade, me and Jade at the top. I know y'all can't see it. I'm gonna put it all on Instagram and show you that in a moment. You know, anything I ever shot, bro, I got it, bro. I got it. Bro. I got I got boxes of these, bro. Now the reason why I'm like that, and like I said, analog that is a concept, man. It's all about memories, bro. I'm capturing moments and memories. I could I could take a Polaroid out and show it to you. And I can tell you about the event, the time, what happened, what we was doing, who he's with, who he's wearing, who he's doing, who he's eating, who he's going. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What was the spirit around that week? What happened? What happened before? I can tell you. I can literally grab one and tell you. I can literally do that. This picture right here, I was in LA. I, I was just walking on, I was in LA and I go to a, a hotel, walk in with my Polaroid, see some people in the, on, 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 in the pool. I said, and I snapped the picture. That was 2018. I remember that. My birthday, my wife's birthday was the next day. It was May 2nd. I could tell you that. I just got that type of memory with this thing. I got videos of people. I could, I could tell you, I, I, and I have never put it out. I've been shooting this stuff since college. So we talking 20, 2008 and I've never put it out. I just never have. I just never could. I never could find a way. And, you know, I get, I, I'm big on myself. So I watch a lot of artistic people and they be doing things at this level. And I'm like, damn, I can't do it like that. I can't put it out. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to stand in to put it out. That's corny. I want to put a little pizzazz to it. I want to put a little, but I don't got the patience. And my, you know, God bless my mom's soul. I suffer, I, I literally have ADHD, bro. Like I cannot stay still, bro. I gotta do 20, I have to do 20 things to feel like I'm doing something. I can't do one thing at a time. So, and then I can't finish 20 things at one time. So it's like this ADHD thing that I'll be dealing with. I can't like, it's hard, to, sometimes hard to focus, but it's like, now I'm like, all right, you know, mom passed away. You know, I'm old, I'm married now. 
I'm not really stressed. You know, Allah has arrested the world, so I'm not stressed and pressed for money, pressed for life, and I just need to figure me out. So with that now, now I'm like, you know what? Let me put all my energy into the art. Let me start editing. Let me start getting on the road. I went to LA, met up with some people, and went up, went up to NFA, our NFA studios. Like I said, again, our NFA studios for the believers went up there. And, you know, it was, a be- it was beautiful. You know, it was beautiful. And, you know, I talked to them about, yo, let's, let's, uh, let's open up one of these, one of these, you know, one of these rooms, man. Let's, let, let, let me just, you know, put the Polaroids on. Let me, let me, let me do our show. And, you know, we, we, we had talked to doing it now and, you know, recording something. I'm recording, I, I, I have a documentary I had, sh- I started shooting about drill. I remember you posted it on Facebook. I ain't hear nothing else about it. No, nah, I kept it low. What happened was I started it and then Hafiz passed away. Well, I turned to Allah. He was a crucial part to it because he was going to connect a lot of dots for me. That was a tough one. That was tough. It's still tough. It's still hard to think about sometimes. I don't want to, I don't like thinking about it sometimes because it's like, you know, we're, we're taught not to be like, you know, we're not Christians in the sense of we're not spooky. You know, we don't believe in spookism. So I don't want to get into the whole like, oh man, you know, man, rosary beads and all that crazy weirdo shit and start burning candles outside. But because people can <laughs> start getting a little weird, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get on that type of time. So I just leave it alone because it, it, it it's touchy for me, bro. You know, it's touchy. It's the man I talk to all the time. He drop me home and you know, when I went to jail, he I went to jail, he didn't write me. I came and saw him. I said, Why you ain't write me? He said, because I wanted you to understand that I lost God and not me. And I was like, man. And they put me on his staff. And I was like, it's useful sister. And he would call me. And I got pictures, I got Polaroids and pictures. And I would just, he would call me. Where you at? I'm at home. Meet me at the barbershop shop in 20 minutes. I jump off in a hoodie and jump over there. Take me to the hood. Take you to the hood. Yeah, call one of your boys. Take me to the take me to the block. I don't care. I'm gonna take me all take me somewhere. Take you somewhere. All right. Yo, yo, where y'all at? You over there by the park. All right, yo, the minister wanna come over there, bro. Yo, is we good? Yeah, yeah, pull up. Yo, bro, I'm bringing the minister over there, bro. We good, bro? Now nah, yeah, yeah, everything cool, bro. COVID static. Yo, bro, listen to me. I'm saying it again, bro. I'm coming over there. Me, one brother, and the minister, bro. We good? We good. Pull up. My feet don't even wait, bro. Jump out. I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, what's up, man? You know, my feet. <laughs> what's up, homies? <laughs> <What's up? laughs> Want to spend a moment with the homies? The yeah, hot man. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I need to be out there, man. They smoking they weed, bro, and they getting high, drinking, shooting dice. Hafi said, "Man, shit, you know, back in my day, I'd crack y'all. You know what I'm saying? Be like, I be joking with them and shit, and they be just talking to them, and they be, and then they pull them to the side, talking about their baby mama drama, and then they, and boom, bro, we in there, we in that hood now. I, but I already was in the hood because I be in the hood." You know what I'm saying? So I really, I got, I know he's, I know some of these guys' mamas and, you know what I mean? I was just on the block yesterday. My man had a, my, my boy, coronavirus hit. My mom always told him, yo, save your money. You know how to cook, open the kitchen. My boy, coronavirus hit, starts saving his money, opens a business. So I sell food out of his kitchen. He gets his, he gets his life together. My mom passed. So that yesterday he had a, he had a, his, um, his side of, his side of Hempstead is called, they call it Trackside. So he had what they call Trackside Day. So he had all the people from Trackside come out and they, uh, all the little kids, you know what I mean? Regular hood. Everybody buy food. We getting, the, you know what I mean? We got the kids out, bouncy houses. So Zine just want to pull up the pull up, bring out the Polaroid by the cameras, you know what I mean? Just shooting the shoot. And I had to tell him, I had to pull to the side, tell him, like, yo, bro, this is why, as a Muslim, I'm loved, bro, because. Nothing was stopping me from coming here, bro. Not my wife. My wife didn't come. My wife is, me and my wife didn't talk all morning because of that. 
oh, you see them, you see them every day, and you want to go outside late. You're not supposed to be outside. The minister, now you know, how, you know how the sisters get. The minister said you're not supposed to be outside, but now you gotta go outside. But you know, an hour ago when we went out to eat at the restaurant, it wasn't the minister said. Well, you know how that go. We're not gonna do that. So she did that to me. You know what I'm saying? But I no, my wife ain't stopping me, bro. Nobody's stopping me, bro. And I always, I you know. I always tell people, I don't know. I have this unusual comfortability in the most grimiest hood environment. I just can't feel comfortable. Like, because I feel like I, I leave it on this point, right? Because, like I said, I could be very long winded, bro. When I was in jail, I told this boy, this boy would ask me, Yo, I, why you don't really. You know, I used to be, you know, I used to be blessed. So he's like, yo, why you want you to be going? Yo, why you get out with the politics, homie? Why you why you be politicking? And I was like, yo, bro, you could be two things in jail. I said, you could be multiple things in jail. Because jail's be all you can be. You could be a rat, you can be a snake, you could be a fucking, you can be whatever you want, bro. You can be a lion, you can be a gorilla, you can be whatever you want, bro. Me, I choose to be the zookeeper. I choose to be the zookeeper. I play with y'all when I want to, but when I see y'all niggas showing your teeth, I back the fuck up, bro. I leave that meat out there and I back up, bro. Cause I'm not stupid. The energy and the strength y'all have, and this is for all my brothers in the nation, bro. I'm telling y'all, please listen to me, bro. Sisters too. You not gonna out nigga these niggas. 100%, bro. You're not gonna out if you grew up in the nation, you got knowledge yourself. You're not gonna out nigga these niggas. They do this 24-7. You do it part-time. You be you wanna be a nigga on weekends. When you're not at the mosque, when your mom tell you take the uniform on and hang it up. That's when you won't be a nigga now in your room on the internet. You ain't bang on the op, but you banging on the net. Corny. Sisters want to be free. I want to be free. What does that mean? You got four kids and nobody wants to be with you. Now men ain't shit. Because we want to be niggas. Like them. We can't do it. We can't do it. We're not going to work. So with that, right, I realized Hell, ah. cause when I was gang banging, it was cool. I was rocking. Then, so when I get older, niggas want to shoot niggas for random reasons. Now, hold up, listen. I was ready to shoot niggas when they jumped us, but I don't want to just ride over there and shoot at niggas. Am I now soft? I gotta go. Change your plans. It's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Call it what you want. Not my thing, bro. I'm I'm ready to ride on anybody against us. Not for no reason though. So. I realized that young, but I still had to go through my thing. So I love the streets. I love the hood. I'm able to talk to them, intermingle with them, rock with them, because I understand the power of them at the same time. So I don't look at them as just young, dumb, you know, all them young, dumb brothers, we need to go over there and go get them. Like, it's not like that. Like, they're not just dumb and they're just going to follow you because you come over there and just tell them it's not working like that. These are all smart individuals, and you're walking into their world Thinking you got the sauce. You don't got the sauce, bro. It may work, it may not work, bro. But you may not got the bait over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to realize that your bait may not be the bait that everybody needs. You feel me? But what they... I, let me ask you a question, brother Joshua. Which one, which one would you... Which one would you rather die trying to do? Make everybody in the world join the Nation of Islam or all black people, or get, would you die, rather die, your work, your life's work die, trying to get the whole black community to join the nation of Islam, or get the whole entire world to follow restrictive laws? I don't, I don't know what the right answer is there. <laughs> I don't know what you can say. No right I, I don't gotta say no right answer. Same question that is. I don't know what the set up question that is. Ain't no right answer. It's your answer. You got black people, black people, black people. You want them all to join the nation, though. But you can have the whole world follow the restrictive laws of Islam. 
Of course the world. Of course the world. Of course the world. So I use that in my mind when I deal with people. It's bigger than black, white, blue, green, whatever. It's about the world. If the world follows restrictive laws, I think we'll be good. I think the world will be a perfect place if we all follow restrictive laws because it's all mapped out in it. See what I'm saying? So my whole thing is I'm giving the whole world Islam, restrictive laws. This is how we rock it. Yo, yo, yo. I, I was at, this is my last story. I was on this topic. I was at, we came out from LA. And my cousin is Jamaican. You know, I'm Jamaican, right? So my cousin's there. We come back from LA. We get up, we in New York. We at JFK. Gay got a gay kid pulls up, his boyfriend pulls up. Short little. I don't want to get in the faces in there, but little Asian kid, little black kid. Comes out, runs up to him, hugs him, kiss him right in front of us. Yo, man, Batman must bun. Batman. So I totally blacked on him, bro. Don't you ever in your life, and this is for anybody wrong, don't do certain things around me. I will embarrass you, bro. Embarrass you, bro. Don't do that, bro. I don't, I don't get, I don't bash gays, I don't bash lesbians, I don't bash women, I don't bash white people. Shit is calm, that's corny. I don't do that. So when he bashing the homosexual, I had to look at him and say, You're a clown. Don't do that shit next to me. So I slap you. Because when he turn around now and say, I'll punch you in your mouth, I'm going to let him punch you in your mouth. See what I'm saying? You got to be like, bro, that's, yo, man. I may not have the answer for him on that, but he may be, he may be the greatest architect we, we got in the world as black people. But he gay, so I can't. Who's working? Who's working? Come on, man. Come on, man. We 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 sometimes we sometimes accept way worse in the private and try to front like in the public, like we don't we ain't doing it. Accept way worse, man. I know people with family members. They can look look at your family. If you got family members, look at your family, go through your family history, and then turn around now and try to bash people and tell people you don't accept certain things they do. You wild. Come on, man. You crazy. Especially if you're black in America. Lord is wrong. Excellent job. You got a lot of comments. Thank you all for tapping in and watching the people's podcast. Uh, my sister said, T, since the day is going off, um, showing you love to Tracy. Thank you all for watching the people's podcast. For Kazim, this means a lot to me. How can we support you in your, um, in your, in your photography? Demons in a, uh, I'll say this, right? Um, with my mom passing, bro, I forced myself to do this because I don't do interviews. I don't like, people actually do interviews all the time. I tell them no, I don't like doing interviews. I don't like being in front of the camera. But um, I, my mom was a, was a big speaker. She was a big public speaker person, very grammar oriented, very, and I just, I guess, she tells me I had the gift. I just act like I don't, but uh, whatever. Um, I wanted everybody to see me because a lot of people know me and know about my mom and know what happened, that she died, you know, passed away suddenly last month. And they never, they didn't get to see me or speak to me. And I haven't been answering my phone for a lot of people, so. I wanted people to see my face, see I was okay, but you ain't gonna be seeing me like, you know what I mean, in the sense of like just in public. I, I, I've, I think I'm on a change. I think I think I'm like, I think I'm on a new chapter. You know what I mean? I'm working on something where just like, I just want the art to speak for itself. So you know, most people have me on Facebook, and I'm gonna add it on. I'm gonna add everything on the Facebook under the comments. Okay. Okay. Thanks everybody. But um, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Like seeing me, seeing me like people used to see me, just a lot gotta put some on me, bro. I just don't have it like that, bro. Like just really be just seen and just like really just like I like you know. So I mean, Instagram is like the best way to just contact me right now, and like I'm putting everything together so like the website will come out, and I'll just be really I'm gonna just like really just 
just speak through Instagram and like social media because like I said, right now I'm just in a space right now where I really just don't want to be seen. I really just don't want to be like in the public. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like when uh, when the minister like used to go to like Mexico or like when Kanye would go to like Hawaii. Like this is like, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to LA for, uh, for two months. So I'm just like, I mean, well then, damn, I just told you where I'm going. But um, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to be in, 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 in the mountains, Caucasus mountains of LA. <laughs> Rest in peace, rest in peace, pop smoke. Um, it's a peace, pop smoke. Out, yeah, I'm gonna be out there, just post it, and um, just get my mind right, bro. I gotta, I gotta, you know. Sometimes we, that's what we need to do right now. We all need to figure out ourselves, get our mind right, get ourselves together. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking about the moss. We're not going back no time soon. It's okay. All them suits you bought, you can just. Put them in the closet. It's all good, bro. You feel me? Yo, that's another thing, too. No, with, with, with no mosh meeting, if you wasn't really here, you can't front now, bro. It's over because you ain't got no suit to front with unless you just wearing a suit to wear a suit. Now you fronting. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my, your speech, your language, your everything got to be immaculate now as a person. You got to have immaculate skills. Like, you got to be able to really talk. You can't say... Just go to the mall. You can't do that no more. Now they want to know what you think. You know what I mean? What you think, man? Like you know what I'm saying. So that that's heavy, man. That's heavy. That's heavy. Got the back to your question. What made you do this podcast? And 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 being a person that comes from a um, a drill background, um, your father being um, one of our great ministers and our former great supreme captain. Your mom. I'm going to speak on her resume, immaculate. Um, but I don't see you being, I don't see you as a very, what's the word I'm looking for? In the light person, like, I don't see you as like a speaker. You want to be like that guy, like a few times to hear you speak at the mosque in Atlanta and like watch it on Facebook and all that. But I'm like, yo, I don't think you're really like that. So like, what made you say, yo, I'm going to get behind. I'm going I'm, to, I'm, I'm, I really want to sit down now and, you know, open the world up because you've always been about that opening the world up to the nation in a different light in a in a in a tasteful palette. I, I can I can say or very or a um in, in a tasteful way. You've always tried to make the nation relatable to the outside world, whatever by any means necessary. So, what, what made you do? What made you start this podcast? Uh, well, I know right now he's on can. Thank you for the uh, question and thank you all for the comments. Uh, I know you right now he's canceled. Everybody's upset with Vlad. TV, but it was watching Vlad interviews, watching The Breakfast Club, watching um, Ellen, generally watching all these people. And I I started learning about people who I didn't know and started getting on the center. I said, yo, we got some people in the nation who I can introduce to the world and just hear their personal stories. And I think that it'll be more attractive than the rostrum format. Mm-hmm. Because I, when I watched Vlad, first of all, I didn't know who Vlad, how he looked for years because he was behind the camera. But I was learning about people. I was like, oh, I like this person. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to this by hearing their personal story. So I'm like, the personal, the personal aspect is a way. That's how I communicate better. So even with the minister, it's never about the rostrum alone. It's about his interviews, about seeing him, observing him. That's how I vibe better with somebody because I'm like, oh, that's the real person. How you yeah. are off the stage more than on the stage. So I wanted to show people the personal side of the, of the believers and people in general. All right, because I kind of, I kind of like this. This, I like this. I've always wanted, I always, uh, I've been told by people in New York that I should do, um, I should do a, a, a podcast. So uh, sure. they've been asking me, like literally like, people have been asking me to do a podcast for a year. And I'm like, oh, I can't see me in front of this camera talking to myself, bro, for hours. Like, and like, cause like, once again, I feel I feel so big about myself, but then in the same time, like, I'm like, bro, come on, bro. Your opinion does not matter. Not <laughs> no, that much, your opinion bro. absolutely matters. Your opinion but it matters, matters to me, but I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? But I like this because I, I, I like this. So, I, um, you know, like I said, I, I'm going out there to meet up with Mike and Mayor and the NFA Studios squad. So, you know, they were talking some ideas. So I like this. I, I kind of I kind of jotted this down a little bit. Right, like, just, I like how this ran. I like, you know, it's just pretty. Uh, and like I said, I've always liked this format, man. It's pretty dope. 
This is a dope it's word. Though, it's almost like a, it reminds me of uh, Elliot Wilson's crown. Mm, mm, you know, the mm, only thing is that you're not like charging for admissions and like you don't got like a whole yeah, yeah. room seat, you know, what I mean? like a seat at the table. But really, honestly speaking, if you were to like go to the people's spot and like really like set it up and like film it and like pay and make people pay to watch it, like it'd be like, which is not, I know that's not where you at, but I'm just saying like that'd be ill. Like if you literally like, you know. Man, you can't like if you came to New York and me used to the chicken the chicken restaurant right in the hood, right there. Like that's my spot yes, that's over there, the Chinese restaurant. Everybody walk by, you know what I mean? We just out there just just doing the same interview and yes, then yes, like, yes, paid, like yo, you got paid two dollars, you know what I'm saying, or like a dollar subscription, or just pay a dollar to sign in and like, oh, we're gonna watch, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean, donate that to MUI. I'm big on I'm big on like fundraisers for MUI, big on that. Pensacola. So, so much, just so much, you know, it's kind of dope. But we'll talk, though. We'll talk on a side. Yes, sir, we will. And thank you very much, Brett Kazim, for uh, coming you. on, taking time out of the business schedule. Thank a lot you. of people in the comments are sending love to your mother. May a lot comfort you and your yeah. family. Appreciate and, it. You know, may a lot be with you. We are his one phone call away. And I'm I'm proud of you, because I'm very proud of you, bro. Stay stay, stay out the box, bro. Stay out that's, the box. That's, that's a lot coming from you, bro. Like I said, yeah. man, I said it earlier. You know, watching you or Jay, Charles, you know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? Just like, yo, it's my big bros. But I never had, bro, like, growing up, like, as you can see, I only named a few artists, like Kanye, Diddy, Pi J. Like, you know what I mean? But other than that, bro, my role models were Supreme Captain, your pops, you all. Like, we had no, like, growing up in the nation, we don't got no role models in the street. Like, you gotta be, you gotta be just a really outside brother, like a really, yo, you really got, you really in the streets, bro. You gotta really, to grow up in a GFR class and be like, yo, my man on the block with the bands is my role model. Like, her, that's your role model? Him? Seriously? You gotta be a weird dude. So, you know, with us, you know, y'all was our role models, bro, for real, for real. And, 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 and that's why even with me, I, you know, doing this, I know it's a lot of young brothers gonna watch this or have watched this and they're gonna watch it. And, you know, I just wanna get them an example. They wanna call me, talk to me about anything. Man, my Instagram is open, holler at me. I'm not, I'm not a funny brother. I'm not the brother's gonna read you, leave your rat. Because they look, they looking at us. We may not be, they may not be look like trying to get exact answers from us, but they watching us, bro, and they making decisions. Like, man, you don't understand, bro. Sometimes I tell you, bro, like sometimes you don't understand, bro. Like y'all, us in the nation, for other young brothers in the nation, we don't understand. You know what I mean? I didn't. I don't got no brothers in the mouth. So who I look up to? You know what I'm saying? All oh, y'all, y'all my brothers. So like looking up to y'all. I wanted to be like y'all. I wanted to dress like y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like I had the baggy suits. I'm like, oh, they getting the tailored three with the, with the, with the three or oh, three piece. Oh, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. My man Josh came. Yo, fashion one on one. My man Josh came with the time piece joint. I said, oh, I gotta get the time piece. No. Not the top piece, not the Bafioso joint. I'm still, still looking for that though. God, where is going? I be going to thrift shops all the time, looking for a nice one. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I don't want to bold you up, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I love you. I, I thank you for this. I thank everybody more, in the bro. comments for the comments from my mom. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know her last. You know her, her last the day before she, you know, returned to Allah, man. She told me there's only one half feast, and there ain't no, and and there's nobody like Min Khan. And this is a woman who had two strokes and was just, just tapping out, bro. So um, she always loved the moms, always loved the believers because, you know, when my dad got deported, the brothers was my father. You know what I'm saying? And the moms was my after school program. You know what I'm saying? And while she was working 16, 18 hours, 24 hours with nursing shifts and never home. And who you going with? Alton? All right, all right. Yo, Alton, he's, he's with you? Okay, cool. Like when I came up, bro, I was. I came up in jail, a 25 year old, 25 year old man, 26. And, and my mom was like, yeah, all right, cool. I'm gonna take you some Jamaican food. And then um, we're gonna pack it back and you're gonna go to, I'm gonna drop you at Old Town House. I'm like, oh, I'm a grown ass man. Mm -hmm. No, you're going to Old Town House, stand at Old Town. I stayed at, I lived at Old Town for a summer. When I first came mm -hmm. up because I couldn't get it. I couldn't get my feet together. You know what I mean? I want to go outside and just, so my mom packed me up, grown ass man. And I was living with brother Alton. So the brothers was always my family. You know what I'm saying? Since family to the you know what I mean? L.A., I go to L.A., Minnesota Tony. I lived with Minnesota Tony for a summer, him and his son. I lived with them since the time. Like, I lived with them, bro. Like, when they was, and they was, and they were moving out of Carlton Square to Compton. 
And I was living in the house while they're moving. So I never had no other family other than the, the, the Muslims. Like outside of my, my family, it was the Muslims. So I appreciate the Muslims. Everything y'all ever did for me, or we all paid through to Allah. And um man, we just got a lot, you know, we got a lot of work to do. You know what I mean? And if anybody need anything from me, I'm not hard to find. Facebook, you know, big zine. It's big zine, man. Analog Dad Museum. I love y'all. Love you more, Rick. All right, so I'm looking. Thank you all for watching.